My mind is brilliant. My body is healthy. My spirit is trained. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? All right. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but uh, you know, we launched the uh, the new website for the Baywa method. And I'm um, really excited about it. I uh, had some questions that I wanted to address um, about the program. Uh, this is my first Instagram live ever, so like, forgive me. You know, I've got this little microphone thing. I don't know, but uh, first of all, I want to say shout out to Dan Levin. Thank you so much for being the first explorer of the Baywa. Looking forward to having you and growing those neural connections. And luckily, we'll have a a lot more in store. But uh, the first big question was, um, do I really have to do this for 40 minutes a day for 40 days? And, and the answer is completely not. Like, really, it's 10 minutes, five, between 5 to 10 minutes. But we're going to get through uh, this, and you need to do it consistently. Uh, the neuroscience of habit formation tells us that you know, skipping one day uh, doesn't really affect the long-term outcome. Skipping two days, and you start to waver, right? But the thing about... Um, the length of times, like most New Year's resolutions fail because people try to take on too much. Uh, what, we, what we, they said in the book Atomic Habits was that, you know, trying to run three miles after work every day or do, trying to do an hour of yoga every day, this can take up to 250 days for the proper neurons to grow. And, you know, we just don't have that kind of time. But what we do have is, you know, for the simple habit of learning to drink more water every day, the neurons that grow in your brain to support that kind of habit as little as 20 days and by you know structuring this uh, meditation this Baywa method this bhavana pranayama you know there's a bunch of specific terms that uh, I'll teach you over the course of the program uh, by specifically training uh, with flow states to accelerate the neuroplasticity of these habit forming neurons we can accomplish some great things in only 40 days but you don't need to be there for the full 40 minutes it's a 10 minute meditation and the rest of the time is just me answering questions and giving the basic neuroscience information and recommending research and if you want to read the research that's great if you don't want to read the research that's awesome too um, but the other big category of questions was how does it work right so what was playing earlier uh, was a track that uh, we produced for the official book soundtrack with Snoop Dogg which is a guided meditation uh, that kind of just sets you in the mood but the way it sets you in the mood is by using specific frequencies uh, some of you may have heard of you know, Solvegio frequencies where like these Christian Gnostics would play you know, these specific you know, like, patterns of chords on the big organs or uh, the sound healing, the bowls right? uh, in yoga, the gongs in uh, ancient China, you know, the specific sizes of gongs. Like each of these things uh, were experimented with over time and the diameter of these instruments was seen to, uh, when you hit them, when you like do the little playing of the rings they have a certain frequency so these songs that were produced for this album have those frequencies in the background so even if you didn't do the breathing if you didn't pay attention to the mantra just listening to these frequencies for a certain amount of time will put your brain into a specific state now uh, the three elements to this song are the frequency uh, the musical key the drums and, and the words I guess so there's four, four components to it uh, the drums are guiding the specific pranayama that you need to do. Uh, inhaling when the drums are hitting, exhaling when other kinds of percussion elements are hitting. And the mantra is simply listening to the words. All right, so as you're taking these long, slow, deep inhales, you're putting all of your mind's attention and the song uh, will tell you which words to think so you don't have to memorize the mantra. So we try to make it as easy as possible for you to get into this. But um, when you're taking that first long, slow, deep inhale, you focus completely on the joy of changing my perspective. And you're letting, letting the words rumble, joy of changing my perspective, joy of changing my perspective. And then when you're exhaling, joy of changing my perspective, joy of changing my perspective. And when, you're, you know, when it goes to the next one, the joy of humility, you put all of your mind's attention on the joy of humility, the joy of humility, the joy of humility, the joy of humility, all the way down, joy of humility, joy of humility, joy of humility. So I'm going to demonstrate it so you really see how uh, quick this thing uh, can work, and um, yeah, I hope you join us for uh, the the best, most effective New Year's resolution that you can do for yourself, starting on January 8th. And it's pretty simple. It's just a few minutes. I do it daily. Never skip joy day. And the structure is this. You take the eight pillars of joy from Buddhism. Those are 
the joy of changing your perspective. The joy of 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 the joy of
so the that's it it's just a few minutes uh, the total track length is seven minutes long but as you can uh, as you heard there was a little bit of an intro there was a little bit of an outro and um, you know ultimately uh, it's 300 minutes to change the rest of your life you know like five minutes a day 40 days uh, you know do the math it's approximate but um, when it comes to the actual science you know like you know it's Charles just a crazy guy that figured out how to do this and blah 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 blah. No, no, no. Uh, you can check out my book. Uh, you can pre-order Don't Punk Out. Uh, it's still with the editor, but uh, you know the publisher will have it ready for us soon. Physical book. It'll come out as an ebook, as an audio book. Uh, but ultimately, in there, uh, you know, so the bibliography, uh, you'll be able to track down uh, exactly the research path that I went down, starting from the uh, work of Professor Richard Davidson from the University of.